How much money does it take to make a man happy? Just one more dollar. You should always try to turn every disaster into an opportunity. Success comes from keeping the ears open and the mouth closed. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. The poorest man I know is the man who has nothing but money. Nobody does anything if he can get anybody else to do it. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see farther. The way to make money is to buy when blood is running in the streets. I believe that love is the greatest thing in the world, that it alone can and will triumph over might. The ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee, and I will pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. The road to happiness lies in two simple principles. Find what it is that interests you and that you can do well. And when you find it, put your whole soul into it with every bit of energy and ambition and natural ability you have. Next to doing the right thing, the most important thing is to let people know you are doing the right thing. I believe in the dignity of labor, whether with head or hand, that the world owes no man a living, but that it owes every man an opportunity to make a living. People become poor because in their youth they set their priorities wrong. If you are alive, you are already rich. Don't work after 50, because money won't let you know yourself. Spend time wisely, then you will be extended. The most important thing for a young man is to establish credit, a reputation and character. Do not many of us who fail to achieve big things fail because we lack concentration? The art of concentrating the mind on the thing to be done at the proper time and to the exclusion of everything else? The root of all evil is not money, but the lack of money. Singleness of purpose is one of the chief essentials for success in life, no matter what may be one's aim. Charity is injurious unless it helps the recipient to become independent of it. Giving should be entered into in just the same way as investing. Giving is investing. When work goes out of style, we may expect to see civilization totter and fall. Our cup will truly run over only after we have sealed the character cracks. He who works all day has no time to make money. It is very important to remember that other people tell you not so much what you yourself already know. There is no mystery in business success. If you do each day's task successfully and stay faithfully within these natural operations of commercial laws, which I talk so much about, and keep your head clear, 
you will come out all right. It is wrong to assume that men of immense wealth are always happy. You should have ways of making money that other people know nothing of. You should never have ambition to make a fortune. Mere money-making should never be your goal. You have an ambition to build. A man's wealth must be determined by the relation of his desires and expenditures to his income. If he feels rich on $10 and has everything else he desires, he really is rich. If you want to succeed, you should strike out on new paths rather than travel the worn paths of accepted success. The only thing which is of lasting benefit to a man is that which he does for himself. Money, which comes to him without effort on his part, is seldom a benefit and often a curse. I know nothing is more despicable and pathetic than a man who devotes all the hours of the waking day to the making of money for money's sake. I would rather earn 1% off a hundred people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. A man of words and not of deeds is like a garden full of weeds. Think of giving not as a duty, but as a privilege. A man has no right to occupy another man's time unnecessarily. The success of each is dependent upon the success of the other. You should rather hire a man with enthusiasm than a man who knows everything. Good management consists in showing average people how to do the work of superior people. The secret to success is to do the common things uncommonly well. The impression was gaining ground with me that it was a good thing to let the money be my slave and not make myself a slave to money. There is no other quality so essential to success of any kind as the quality of perseverance. It overcomes almost everything, even nature. A friendship founded on business is better than a business founded on a friendship.